Hey everyone, NASCAR Decals 34 here. Today, we are going to be reviewing a Rick Ware racing car. Now, this is, will be my first review. And it'll be on this number 53, Garrett Smithley, Richmar Florist, 2021 Camaro Z01. So, I don't know how many of these were produced, but by the looks of it, I don't think a lot of them were. But, this is a really cool looking die cast. It's that got that hot pink on it, which really stands out on these die casts because you don't see many cars like that at all. So without further ado, let's get this thing right out of the box. Let's begin. Here is the die cast. This die cast, or this scheme I mean, was actually driven by Gary Smithley at Dover in 2021, I believe, or maybe it was. Yes, it was 2021. Um, you guys can correct me on that in the comments if I'm wrong. Just look at this beautiful looking thing. This die cast looks so good. Now, it's on the EL mold, thankfully. I, I don't know if they ever do the PTC mold anymore. I think it's just for promos or those ones that you get the, at the tracks. So let's look at the sponsors here. Let's continue. So, the first sponsor is Richmar, of course, Flores. I don't know if there's any contigs or anything like on the sides. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the picture. Anyway, it was sponsored by Circle B Diecast. That's probably why this diecast got made. Because Circle B Diecast has a lot of people on their side about this. I don't know how it all works. But all I know is a lot of these Circle B Diecasts get made. Um, there's actually a logo right here. I can't really read it, though. Let me look. SMG. I think that's like a painting thing. I'm not sure, but it's got the door signature, of course. Very nice. Let's look at the side. Oh, that looks beautiful. I love how they, what they did with this black. It looks really, really slick. You got the ZL1 right there, the Rick Ware Racing decal. You got the Contigs. Those Contigs kind of look off centered a little bit. 3M, Lincoln Wheelers, and Sunoco. Got the Cup Series logo, of course. You got the big 53. You also got this design, which is really cool. I think it's like, looks like flowers, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, Cup Series, of course. And you got Chevy right there on the B pillar right there. Got the banners. I don't like these white banners, really. I wish they went with the old standard, how it used to be. That's just Lionel cutting corners, in my opinion. Let's look at the deck lid. You got Rick... Uh, Rich Mar right here, Flores got the big 53. It's a really nice scheme. Here's the back of the car where it says Rick Rich Mar Racing. Got the nice looking headlights here. Rich Mar again racing. Got the Camaro, got the both stickers. I know people have been having problems from getting those stickers on there. Got the Rick Mar Racing logo right there. Number 53 right there. The, I, I don't know if they ever always had these roof cameras, but I really like that they have those. Here's the other side. I wish they put that like black exhaust thing right here. That'd be kind of cool if they did that. Just make it a little bit more. Was oh, that a paint chip right there? Yeah, there's a little paint chip right there, it looks like. That's fine. I don't care about that. It's not It's not really too noticeable. I can see some Sharpie and sweep that right up. These windows are really intact on this one. I wish they put the arrow there too, but they don't. Got all the flowers, of course, on there. Very nicely done. The Goodyear, I don't know why, but the Goodyear always looks a little off-centered. It should be a little bit this way, but I don't know. I don't know why they do it. Got the Goodyear Eagle. This is just a standard version, so they just have normal wheels, normal plastic. They don't have the rubbers. I don't think they have those yet. And once again, these are kind of off-centered, but that's fine. It's not really a big deal. 3M, Lincoln Wheelers, and Sunoco. Let's look at the underside and see how good they did on this. And once again, they used a pink base for this. And then these rivets are really nice. Got the black splitter. Well done on that. Anyway, I think... You know what? I wish they put the black lines on these. Like on these... Backs. That'd be kind of cool if they did that, honestly. But overall, I don't see any really big flaws 
there's the hood doesn't open of course nor does the back they or these that's something i wish they'd bring back honestly if they could bring back the opening hoods and i wouldn't know how they do these flaps though i know on the old die cast they can open up both of these i think i'm not 100 percent sure the black dot went on that looks really nice with this car as always yeah i think i do have another one of these rick Ware racing cars if you want to see it real fast if you want me to review this one um i'm just going to ask for five likes and that's it and i'll review it heck who knows i might even review it anyway but if you guys really like these reviews please let me know in the comments arrowhead not really much on this one but yeah anyway Overall, I think they did a good job. I don't know why that looks like that right there. I guess that's how they make it. Couldn't sharpie that, but I'm not going to risk that. So far, I don't see hardly any chip paint chips. There's one right there, but that's usually what happens. That usually happens right there. I see the whole thing is a pink base because of right there. As a custom maker, you know kind of about this stuff. American ethanol there, of course. Nice looking die cast. Very nice. I was actually really happy with this one. People have, I've seen people have these banners, names, tilted over to the side, kind of. It's just like come, some kind of defect. I don't know what it is, but mine haven't been like that. Not really. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this diecast review. If you want me to do more, please hit the like button or comment saying you like it. Whatever you want to comment, you can comment whatever you want. I don't care, just as long as it's appropriate. And yeah, that's going to do it for this diecast review. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.